Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of printing a tag. And I, he's going to know how to do this, but I thought I'm just going to make sure. So this is all grouped together, and we need to ungroup it and see if we can't get that logo, which there's multiple logos attached. There's 12 objects that are all attached. And I don't think, maybe I can ungroup just one of them. Yes, I can. Now, a uh, couple ways to look at this, and this might be the easiest way to do it, and for sure it's going to be. I'm going to make this one red for a second, and I'm going to put it right on top of the old one. Actually, I made the new tag a little bit bigger, maybe, in the first video, so let's just squinch it up a little bit. Now, let's set our nudge distance. Let's see how big this is. Set our nudge distance on, uh, this is one and a half inches. Let's set it on two. And let's take the red and move it out. Let's take the, grab the logo and, so now you have a new tag. So let's just delete all these. Control G and make a group of that. Put it in your paper or your screen. And we need to duplicate that because we need the back of it for another object. And I think he had four across and four down. And there's multiple ways you could do that. Um, let's just see how far apart he had them. Take the parallel dimension tool and just kind of eyeball it. They're 0 0.38 of an inch apart. So we'll do that. We'll, this is all grouped together, I think, so control G. Yep. And we're gonna set our nudge factor. And this is actually be easier to do with uh, step and repeat, but this tag is, just to show you another out, uh, point, and I don't think this would really matter, but 0 0.1492 plus 0.38. So we're going to set our nudge factor on 0.149, and that's good enough, plus 0.38. And we get 0.88. So control D and make a duplicate, control D and make a duplicate. So now, you know, even if they're in the if you wanted them in the center of the page, I'd group them together, control G, hit P. Now they're in the center of the page. Take your, start moving them and then hold down your control button. <clears throat> now the, the, the bottom step is gonna be a little different. So this thing is 2.25 plus three eighths. So we can go 2.25 plus 0.38 for our new nudge factor. Control D and make a duplicate. Control D, Control D. I evidently didn't nudge that one, the last one. So there you have the exact labels better. Now, I made it red. You'd want to make them black. You know, that's neither here nor there. And you just want to check your colors. Now, you've got an outline of black, so this is printing, so that'll look pretty cool. Now, how would you get them on the paper exactly. Well, we can do the same thing we did for the other one. Let's take this one and ungroup it. And let's bring, let's just take the logo away and let's bring this into the picture. And we're gonna basically do the same thing. Just kind of grab it. Now, when we move them all, uh, we're going to want to do something else. But so now I can nudge that guy up and I'm going to ungroup this and try to get the, and now the thank you is probably grouped. So ungroup that and then just grab that thank you. That took the line. Whoop. We don't want that. We want, so it was grouped together a lot of times. So let's just grab the text, hopefully. And there you go. Now we can delete all this. 
delete all this, delete all this, and that's the back of the tag. And then all you have to do, and this would have been quite easy if we would have remembered our nudge factors, or if you would have written them down. And if you have snap to object on, it'll snap right to that one. Then all you have to do is just duplicate that same page um, that we just, so do it just like I did the other one. And let, let's nudge that out of the way and get our tag back. But then once you have all the tags, you know what, we can reduplicate that really easy. Let's do this. Let's control D and make a duplicate of that main page. And now let's un, if you ever seen anything move, make sure you do that. Go to object and ungroup everything. And let's take away the inside, everything but the tag. Nope. Probably still a group. And it would really have been easy if we would have uh, done them at the same time and then put group this one together, control G. I hope I'm not losing y'all. But with snap to object on. And if you if I'd written down the nudge distance, uh, you could have them right on top of each other. So it was like, uh, well, there's, okay, there's 2.3 still. Good. So let's control G D. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just delete this one and delete this one and delete this one. And then grab that one and control D and make a duplicate and nudge it down. So now that's how you would have done it if we would have remembered what the sideways nudge was. And let's just say all these, let's just delete these. I bet you we can get them pretty close. Um, oh, I wish I could remember. But anyway, let's just say you had a, a row of them. I mean, we can't really do it because they're locked, linked together like that. Now, the whole time we've been nudging, we've been nudging with the same nudge. So these are done and they're grouped together. Let's just make sure they're grouped together. Control G and Control G. And then if you had a whole page of these, so what I would do is take this off the page, bring these in, and print that. And then just take the whole thing and nudge it out of the out of the paper and nudge this one where it needs to go. And of course, you'd have a whole page of them. And they should print on the exact same side evenly. Now, I don't know how you're going to cut it out. Um, there's a way to do that. Um, but I'm a laser engraver, so I don't know. I need more information about how you're going to print that. Anyway, I truly hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.